So, Keanu, tell me, correct me if, I'm, if you think I'm wrong, but it seemed like after the Colorado game, I don't know if you had a jump in your step, or you just seemed really active in Buffalo. Did, did you feel like that was an especially good game for you? Did you have more pace? Did you feel like there was anything going well for you in that game? Uh, yeah, the puck was fine on my stick quite a bit, uh, so that gave me some confidence going into uh, Buffalo after a tough game in uh, Colorado. So, uh, like you said, it gave me a little confidence, um, feeling the puck a little bit more. So, yeah. Is navigating the ups and downs of an NHL season, especially with this being the first 82 game season you have, is that part of the, like your learning curve still right now? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, I haven't played a 82 game season yet, so um, there is a little bit of. Uh, um, Navigation, I guess, just through the long season. Obviously, it's a lot of up and downs throughout the year. So, um, I think uh, coming off of a down, uh, going into that next game is really big. Um, so, yeah. What have you thought about? It's not just navigating an 82 game season. All these teams that you know, a lot more travel, a lot more teams you're playing that you weren't playing facing last year. I mean, just what are your general thoughts on just what this has been like for the first quarter plus? Um, obviously, it's been a lot like last year, um, travel-wise, um, a lot of late nights and early mornings, but um, that's what I signed up for. So I, I think that's just part of the process and uh, part of growing as a, as a person and uh, um, as a player. So I think uh, just getting more comfortable um, with those uh, aspects of the game and uh, hopefully the rest will come. So, uh last time we spoke to you, you hadn't scored a goal in a while and I know we were kind of assuming that this, as soon as you get one, everything will break out and, and the floodgates will open. Now you got one. Do you feel, does that lift the weight off your shoulders? Do you feel better? Of course, I feel better, but it helps only one game. So today it's another one, and, and we're starting from zero. So uh, I have to forget what was in the past. Of course, it helped me uh, a little bit, but like I said, it's a new game today, and, and I have to start from zero. When? What changes when you do see the puck going? Like you, you finally get rewarded and stuff. Is it just um, you feel like it makes you quicker, more confident? What what changes when, when, when the puck finally goes in after a long time? This may be in a headed feeling. It's uh, it feels a little better, but uh, as I said many times before, I feel like this season uh, play, play, I'm playing better every game, and and it's just not. About the points we were winning the games, of course, I would like to help the team score uh, score goals. I have a lot of chances every game, and even my line we had a lot of chances. Uh, we are winning the game, so it's not net. That's not uh, the bad thing, but uh, at least we can focus on that on the practices, and that when it's gonna the game is gonna be tight. Uh, we're going to have a chance, we're going to score a goal, so it's coming. For yeah. either of you, uh, we just saw Igor out there, you know, like working with you guys the first time he's been out for a year. Does that give a boost to everybody's spirits to have him back on the ice and, and working with you guys? Yeah, of course. Any Anytime you get to see uh, a guy uh, that's missed a couple of days away from the team, away from the rink, uh, it's good to see them back and healthy. Um, obviously, Chelsea is such a big part of our team and uh, the I mean, you get to see it every night. Uh, Many times he puts on that jersey and uh, steps in between the pipes. He's, he's lights out. He's on top of his game. So, um, yeah, it gives us a lot of confidence going into the games. So, kind of joking before about you being the older one, but you are one of the more experienced guys around here. Um, you've been here maybe the third or fourth longest. Um, do you feel that way? Do you, do you feel like a young veteran, or do you feel like a, just a young, young player? You know, do you feel like you're a young player still in the NHL? Uh, yeah, I'm still 22 years old, so that's, <laughs> I don't feel like an old guy. Uh, just getting more mature, just uh, the time that I had before, just I use it as a, as a big experience for me. Uh, I started, I think, a little earlier, so uh, it's... Uh, Still, I had only one season with 82 games, so so I had two short seasons. But I feel like I'm still young, uh, and I still can grow a lot. But when, when guys come in, 
Now, do you feel like you can give them advice about how to, you know, what the NHL is like, like, you know, how to, can, you know, will you look at Phil as somebody who you might ask about experiences, even though he's a young guy, but he's been around for a while? Yeah, I mean, you can look to, uh, I mean, almost any guy, I feel like, for, for anything like that. I mean, we have a really good team. Obviously, and a lot of guys with different skill sets. So I think uh, we have a lot of guys we can sit down with and pick their minds about the game and uh, learn more about their play style and what they see and what you see. And uh, I think just coming together and cooling as a team. When, when when you have questions, would you be more apt to ask a forward to get his mindset, or would you be more inclined to ask a defenseman about how he might play against a certain guy? Um, kind of depends on the situation. Uh, what, uh, what the situation presents itself as. Um, I mean, obviously in the game, um, I try to ask troops as many questions as I can, and uh, he's usually on top of it and knows exactly what uh, what I'm thinking and what I need to do to um, to get through. So, um, I guess there's a lot of guys on this team that can uh, provide uh, uh, help and assistance. Yeah, I'm just wondering because, like in baseball, a lot of times catchers become the team coaches you know, because they see it from the other side. And so I wonder if, you know, if there's a play, you might ask a forward, what, you know, what are you thinking when you see this kind of situation line up? So. Yeah, um, kind of the same thing. Um, I mean, obviously, I, I know behind the bench, we had the iPads this year, so. Uh, that helps uh, a good amount too with breaking down a play and uh, um, seeing what's open without uh, actually seeing it, I guess, in real time. Sometimes you miss some things and um, it's easier to, um, easier to find, uh, find those uh, plays where you messed up and uh, it's easier to find the plays that uh, you can make right the next time. What does the winning meant to you, Keandre, the winning this season? Um, it's huge. Um, obviously, giving our team a huge boost of confidence and uh, showing uh, uh, sh I don't know, showing uh, showing we can bring it every night. And even if we don't, um, finding ways to win those tight games. Obviously, this league is a very hard uh, league to win in, um, and I think just finding those uh, those key pieces uh, to a night where. The momentum such as or things like that. So uh, winning's been a huge thing this year and something that we uh, pride ourselves on. Do you find it easier to play the game this year as compared to last year? Um, I think uh, going into um, later in the game, second and third periods, um, we haven't been the best first period team I think this year and uh, just being able to build off of um, our good work and things that we're doing right in games um, is giving us the best chance to win every night. Well, Keanu, what, what have you, what areas have you looked to improve after last year? What have you thought about your first four pluses? How do you improve in certain areas that you, know, you want to improve? Yeah, I think uh, being hard in the D zone, being hard to play against, and uh, um, being reliable are probably the two biggest things um, that I've tried to bring this year. Um, I think uh, obviously you're trying to um, bring, uh, bring something to the table every night, and uh, I think uh, we have a good group of guys that will get you going, and uh, even if you aren't on your best game, we have a lot of guys who will pick you up and uh, help you pull that string uh, towards the right side. Do you feel like you're, there's a little bit more freedom for you to skate the puck to stay with? Um, a little bit. Uh, I mean, like I said, every game presents itself a little bit differently, um, pre scouts and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I want to find a chance to skate it. Uh, I'm willing to do so. Yeah, to, to follow up on something you were saying earlier, you said you felt confident in, in the Buffalo game. And I noticed the stat they showed at one point during the game that said you had skated more total distance than anybody else to, prior to that point in the game. So, do you feel like when you're feeling confident, does that allow you to? move your feet more, be more active, maybe think less, react more? Like, how, how are you finding that learning curve for you as you, you find these games where you're having confidence and moving more? Do, do you think it's like just kind of seeing the game better now with the more uh, experience you have? Yeah, uh, I think that's a huge thing, uh, experience. Um, obviously, I've had a hefty amount of games now in the NHL, so uh, that comfort level is starting to sink in a little bit more every game. 
Um, so, like I said, the, um, just my being able to bring it every night is something that I've been uh, uh, being able to try to improve and uh, work towards. Um, obviously, it's a it's a tough night, tough schedule. So, um, yeah. one, one more for the two of you, I want to ask both. As you guys are learning and growing your games and trying to get better, do you feel with coach with this coach in particular, have you noticed anything as far as when you make mistakes, how you're taught from those moments, or how he, a lot of guys have talked about him kind of letting you guys make mistakes, having the freedom to learn in that way. So I would curious, just curious your interactions with Coach and how that's gone for you as far as learning from mistakes. Yeah, obviously mistakes are part of the game. Um, it's such a quick and fast moving game, uh, such a high pace. Uh, there's going to be mistakes, there's going to be breakdowns every game, uh, every time you're on the ice. But I think it's just about limiting those chances and uh, uh, trying to do your part to keep the puck out of the net. But is there a certain way that like coach approaches, or do you feel like you have the freedom to go out there, play your game, and if a mistake happens, so be it, you'll move on from that? Um, I mean, yeah. Um, like I said, mistakes are going to happen. Um, I think the coaching staff has done a good job of just uh, letting us play, like you said, and uh, letting us realize our mistakes and uh, finding ways to improve those and uh, cleaning up uh, how to improve. How well is Jacob Trouba playing right now, and how much have you contributed as a pair to that improvement? Yeah, I mean, Trouba's uh, been unbelievable. He's bringing a uh, physical presence to his game every night. Um, guys are finding out they got to keep their head up coming through the neutral zone, things like that. So uh, he's getting pucks on that, doing all the little things right. He's, uh, he's definitely been one of the leaders. Um, for me to look up to and uh, help my game improve. Phil, we were talking to Coach at the last game I skated in the last game about Libor. You know, he's on top of this for him. He's been here and he can't get in the game and we thought he might get it. You know, he like he do whatever. I'm wondering as a, as a, you know, as a, as a fellow Czech guy, do like, you, you know, do you spend time with him and like how is, you know, do you talk to him and like how is he moving? And, like one side is what he's telling me, the other side is how he's feeling. Yeah. I don't know how he's feeling, but uh, of course it's hard for him. Don't play three months, but yeah, he's uh, he's working hard. Uh, I can see every time I come to the training center, he's just working hard uh, on the ice and also off the ice. And when it's gonna be the right time and he's gonna play, I think he's gonna be 100% ready. So I'm not worrying about him, and he's gonna be hungry for that for that game but yeah he's uh, he's, he's uh, excited whenever he's got a uh, chance so yeah it's up to him. Candid, I want to ask you mentioned Shuba and you know, don't come across the middle your head down. <laughs> um, we're in a day and age in the NHL where every hit is scrutinized. Every hit like that, you know, we pour over every detail, you know, where was the hit? Where was the do you guys as players, especially defensemen, can you look at those two hits and say, we can learn from that? You know what I mean? Players can learn from, you know, in terms of technique and hitting technique and whatnot. Is that something that's ever discussed, ever looked at, and, and, you know, away from this, away from the game, just you know, when you're looking at video or something? Um, I don't think too much about that, um, honestly. Um, I think people hit differently. Um, a lot of it has to just do with uh, how big they are and how strong they are. I mean, Troops is a big, big strong, uh, big strong guy for our team. And uh, obviously, whenever he's on the ice, he has that. Um, he has that demeanor about him that he, he's hungry for the puck. He doesn't want you touching it. Um, it's his puck, and if you go into his corner. So I think uh, a lot of it just has to do with will and uh, hunger to have that puck and uh, um, be strong. But there also has to be. A controlled hit technique to hit it in today's game, but as opposed to you know when you when you weren't playing it, but as opposed to 10, 20 years ago, because of everything magnified with the head and you know and whatnot, is there is there is there any practice for that? Like, is there any you know film to watch for that in terms of learning proper technique to do what he's done now in those in those two instances of recently? I mean, yeah, I guess you could watch film on it. Um, I don't think guys are really practicing hitting, I would say. 
Um, I think that's kind of just molded into guys' games. Um, you kind of obviously learn at a young age um, the do's and don'ts. Um, and when guys are in those vulnerable positions, um, but, uh, I mean, I don't want to say lay up, but um, going in to take the man away from the puck, that's the main goal, going into one of those hits. So, I mean, you've seen it twice now um, and a number more times. Um, what Shoes is capable of doing, and um, I think guys just have to be more uh, aware when he's on the ice, um, for anyone I guess for that matter, um, coming through the middle of the ice.